There are two options when you face a trial. You can go down the road of, of self-help or God help. And the world says to look to yourself for help. James is telling us, whatever you do, don't look to yourself for help. Until you fear and revere and submit to the one who is the source of all wisdom, you will never walk in or find wisdom. Because there is one source for wisdom, and it is God himself. As believers, we don't first look to wisdom from an outline or theology or a philosophy of thinking. We look to a person, and his name is Jesus. The embodiment of the wisdom of God. And through relationship with the Father, through the Son, we have access to the wisdom that created the world. We need to get a functional theology of the person and the work of the Holy Spirit who was given to us to walk with us, to instruct us, to counsel us, to rebuke us, to convict us, to speak to us, to reveal to us Jesus. We have that person, not just a power source, but a person in the Holy Spirit ready to impart wisdom to us from the Father if we would take the time to listen and get to know this person. The wisdom of God is waiting and available right now to those who would ask in faith for it. God is a good, kind, gracious, loving Father. He's just waiting for His children to come and ask for help. A church full of people living into that truth in the face of storms and troubles and tribulations, they just might become the aroma of Jesus. And some might say, I, I'd heard of the wisdom of your king. But when I saw it on display in the lives of the king's servants, it took my breath away. I want in.